Hey guys, thanks for tuning in for the first edition of Cocktails with Lily. I am here to do a cocktail of the month every month and this month I have my good friend Levi here. He's a bartender at the historic Edgewater Hotel in downtown Seattle. He's going to make the new listing lemon drop. I firmly believe that you need a stiff cocktail in your hand during these unprecedented times and let me tell you Levi's cocktail is not Hey guys, my name is Levi and I'm a bartender at the Edgewater Hotel and tonight I'm going to help out my friend Lily and we're going to make some cocktails inspired by the real estate market. Tonight's cocktail, the new listing lemon drop, requires a few ingredients that we've got right here. A good bottle of vodka, we're using kettle one, some simple syrup and we're going to mix that up by adding a little bit of Grand Marnier as well, just for flavor. And of course, fresh citrus. All right, before we get started here, we're gonna do a little bit of prep work. We're gonna go ahead and uh, set up the garnish a little bit here. So this drink is gonna have a sugared rim on it. So what I want you to do is, you're gonna take a little bit of lemon, just slide it right on the lip of that glass there and get yourself a good bit of citrus on there. And then just run it through a plate of sugar. And you're good to go. To build this cocktail, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna assemble it in the shaker. And as an old bartender trick, I'll tell you, first of all, we're gonna take all the syrupy ingredients and we'll measure them first, okay? And we'll finish with the citrus and finally the vodka. It keeps things clean. So to assemble this cocktail, we're gonna go ahead and start with the simple syrup. I'm gonna use a half an ounce of simple syrup. Follow it up right away with a half an ounce of Grand Marnier. A little sweetness, a little more flavor. We're gonna make this as a classic cocktail, so we're then uh, we're gonna add two ounces of vodka. And I like an ounce of citrus. Keep it nice and fresh. So here's the update. Housing inventory is its lowest in 15 years. So what does that mean for Seattle right now? It means that it's a great time to be a seller. Due to low inventory, housing prices are on the rise, and it's a great time to get the maximum return on your initial investment if you're looking to sell. With this low inventory, buyers are curious about what advantages, if any, they have in such a fiercely competitive market. What I can tell you is that mortgage rates have dropped astronomically, making it easier than ever for qualified buyers to get a loan with incredibly low interest. Now that we got the cocktail built, I'm gonna go ahead and pour them out here. Uh, but since no one likes to drink alone, go ahead and double the recipe up and make one for a friend. And Lil, since I know we're a little extra around here, we're just gonna add a little cherry on top. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, buddy. Thank you. Be sure and join us next time. In August for the next cocktail of the month. And just say whatever, cause there is no way you'll Two. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. What are you I'm filming, so you don't say anything. You just start talking. At, you just say two or one in your head. Did you not ever see Wayne's World? Oh, this is really good because I was filming that whole time there. <laughs> okay.